My name is Annalise. My friends call me Ani. I'm the coach of the Tallahassee Roller Girls. My roller derby name is Vaginamite, and that's a play off of the word dynamite. So my number is 321 because dynamite explodes. <laughs> Women's flat track derby is an international movement, and it was founded like the roller derby, modern roller derby as we know it today, was founded in like 2001 by the Austin Roller Girls in Austin, Texas. And they took the bank track roller derby and turned it into a place where it could exist without the bank track because that cost thousands of dollars to create. So they could put it on a flat track space and it was the same rules, the same idea that you're trying to um, progress your jammer to get her points and stop the other jammer. Roller derby... Um, was created, the idea of the game, the sport was created, and then these leagues started popping up around the country that were women-owned. So the mission, the statement of most roller derby leagues is they are skater-owned and skater-operated in that the there isn't an outside person that is coming in and creating a roller derby league. So it really started from like a grassroots, modern-day, third wave feminism, bringing girls, women together to create spaces, create businesses, create infrastructure, learn leadership, learn about themselves, and to create something successful in a way that was athletic and competitive. And that really wasn't something that existed in a lot of other spaces where you could be strong and powerful and run a business. What other venues do we have to display those skills as women? So, um, and there clearly was a need because now there's thousands of roller derby teams all throughout the world that just keep popping up and the, the sport continues to grow. So um, as these little teams started popping up around the country, there was a governing body that was created called the Women's Flat Track Derby Association, which in Florida is known as WIFTA. If you go up north, it's known as WIFTA. If you go somewhere else, it's called WUFTA, depends on where you are. But um, here it's WIFTA, and it's the association that oversees all roller derby rules, um, the governance, how the business structures are set up. And so that gave space for roller derby teams throughout the country to connect their voices and become part of something that is bigger than themselves. And so if you go to roller derby, WIFTA roller derby conferences, the phrase that you'll hear over and over again is that roller derby is a revolution. And the reason that people call it a revolution was it was a way for women to express themselves in a way that they didn't feel like as adults they had a safe place to do that. And so it really started to change people's lives. And that was something that happened to me when I joined roller derby. So when I joined roller derby, I was younger, I was um, not necessarily athletic, but I had a lot of athletic background, so I knew that I like, enjoyed being physically active, and at the time, I was married to um, a man, and through my journey of living in Tallahassee, I'm no longer married, and I feel like I have a really strong support system and a family that accepts me exactly for who I am, and being involved with the Tallahassee Roller Girls, I've learned so much about myself personally, about how to have healthy relationships with people who vary in age. So some of my friends are 45 and some of my friends are 17. And, you know, it doesn't matter our age. It doesn't matter our background. It doesn't matter if you like to go booty dancing on the weekends or if you're a homebody, like we all have things that connect us and that connection is really important. So both the interpersonal and intrapersonal stuff. And then I also have grown so much as a, um, as a leader. I've had the opportunity to exercise how to use my voice, how to, how to plan events, how to um, be a manager, how to, I've learned, developed so many skills through roller derby that I really wouldn't have had the opportunity to in any other setting. Party to what? Wall in the back. Today we're going to build on that to just figure out where to be and how fast to be going when both jammers are out of the pack. And that's derby. Once you got that, you're good to go. <laughs> 
If you want to get involved with the Tallahassee Roller Girls, there's four awesome ways to get involved. You can become a skater like these girls right here. You can become an official, a skating official or a non-skating official. You can become a volunteer who help us at our games, to help us with our fundraisers. Finally, you can become one of our awesome fans. To learn more about all of those opportunities, you can visit our website at TallahasseeRollerGirls.com.